Already? Maybe she went back to her ship! If you're looking for the captain, she was summoned by Lady Ningguang. It seems that the Crux Clash got out of hand this time and has attracted her. Captain Beto was muttering something about Ningguang being a stick in the mud as she headed off to Liyue Harbor. <laughs> it's not unusual for those two to be at odds with one another. But still, Captain Beto was disappointed she didn't get to witness the crowning of the new champion. She had been looking forward to it for quite some time. The one who stole the vision was originally to be this hero's opponent in the final round. He knew he stood no chance of winning the match, thus the wicked idea of stealing the prize took hold. In which case, the Crux Clash comes to a clear-cut conclusion. Huh? So that's what happened? If that's the case, then the rules stipulate that he is disqualified. And our hero here is the champion. Paimon thought we'd win and all, but not like this. It doesn't matter. As the saying goes, honor given is honor deserved. Now, let me go prepare the champion's medal to award you. Yes, I believe so. Though Captain Beto is no longer present here, I'll be sure she receives word of it. But the voyage to Inazuma is a treacherous one. You will be plagued by a perpetual tempest the entire trip. In fact, the relentless rain and wind are also an embodiment of the Raiden Shogun's will to close the nation. Hold on a second. You're saying she can change the weather just with the power of her mind? Let us not forget that this is one of the Seven Archons. If Liyue's Morax could form Guyun's Stone Forest by casting down his stone spears, then it should come as no great surprise that the Raiden Shogun is capable of summoning an eternal tempest. Suffice it to say that if you wish to journey to Inazuma, the Alcor will need some time. You will be notified once all the preparations have been made. In the meantime, I intend to embark on a journey of my own. I will travel all across the vast lands of Liyue in the- Haima believes you'll find a way for sure. Thank you. May both our journeys prove meaningful. One final word of warning. The part of your journey that lies after the storm may well prove to be the most arduous. Ad Astra Abyssosk. What can I do for you, traveler? Ah, yes. I've heard that you've already made arrangements with the captain of the Crux Fleet regarding your passage to Inazuma. Is that correct? Now that I think about it, it's been quite some time since I last visited those lands. Unfortunately, I don't have any current intel that would be worth sharing with you. There you are. 
You're the traveler that Beidou will be taking to Inazuma, right? The fleet is nearly completed reprovisioning. Once the crews have taken a headcount, we can get underway. Captain Beidou sent me to come get you. We'll weigh anchor as soon as you're aboard. Seems Beidou is the captain of our word. Of course. There are many things that the captain insists upon. I'm sure you'll see for yourself once you're on board. So you'll be heading off then? I suppose congratulations are in order. Whether the journey before you leads to the heights of the heavens, or the depths of the abyss, each step you take is another achievement. Until we meet again, Ad Astra Ebisosk. Oh, it's kind of hard to say goodbye now. We practically see... <laughs> well, if that's how you feel, why not come and find me when you arrive? I'll be awaiting you on Narukami Island. So there's another Catherine at Ninazuma? See? There's no need to get all sappy now. <laughs> well, I guess it's time for you to bid farewell to Liyue Harbor. Now that I've delivered my message, I'll be heading back. The ship is currently anchored off of Guyun Stone Forest. Okay, thanks for coming all this way to let us know. Just following orders. I'll see you two aboard the Alcor. You finally made it. All these years, come rain or storm, the Crux fleet has never suffered a delay. If it were anyone else, I might have set sail already. <laughs> Don't look too serious, I'm only joking. You're just on time. The crew have just finished making final preparations. <sighs> well, now that everyone's here, we set sail for the land engulfed by storm and tempest. The nation of eternity. Oh, hi there. Did 
So, you finally made it. You sure kept me waiting, Captain. And it appears we have a couple of stowaways. Or perhaps I should say, honored guests. <laughs> Shush! You can blame your almighty Shogun. The tempests around Inazuma have been growing all the more fierce lately. Though the fleet was fully up to the challenge, the inclement weather still caused some delay. Now then, let me introduce everyone. This is Toma, a trade partner that I've gotten to know recently. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to see you. Toma, these two are... Oh, no need for introductions. Their reputation precedes them. It seems even the stormy seas can't keep rumors of these outlanders' sterling deeds at bay. <laughs> oh, it's sure nice to hear you say that! <laughs> With any luck, it'll give you a head start here. Toma's resided on Rito for quite some time now. It wouldn't be going too far to say he's the fixer around these parts. If you run into any problems here, just talk to Toma. But if he tries to pull any moves on you, I'll be sure to deal with him personally the next time I'm around. <laughs> no need to worry. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Good. Then if it's all settled, I'll be going. I wouldn't want to be caught with my sails down here. I do a- Oh, right! Kazuha! Until next time, Traveler. Remember to give it your all, no matter what perilous storms you may encounter. Fair seas, Captain Beto! Now then, first things first. We need to go get you registered at the border checkpoint. Um, time and thought we were supposed to be keeping things on the de <laughs> Don't underestimate the reaches of the Sokoku Decree. You wouldn't be able to avoid inspection even if you tried. So we have to play by the rules, even if we're kind of bending them. state your name, identity, and the purpose of your visit. Oh, except you, Toma. You must be... new here. Uh -huh. Excuse me? Please provide the information requested, and also declare any goods you are carrying with you. Oh, well, I'm sorry. We cannot approve entry for purely personal reasons. So, unless you have a valid reason for visiting in accordance with the rules... My apologies, but I'll have to ask you to... Here are their entry papers, for your kind perusal. What? Ugh, take your time, no rush or anything! <laughs> I just wanted to see what you'd say. Sorry about that. I see. Okay. Your papers are all in order. Welcome to Rito. <sighs> so, where do we go next? The Outlander Affairs Agency. Uh, they only check entry permits here. If you want to remain on Rito, there's a process you have to go through with them. Sheesh. So it is super strict. Just like every- Well, let's not forget that to everyday folk in Inazuma, people from everywhere else are referred to as outsiders. As the word suggests, outlanders aren't very welcome in Inazuma with the Sokoku Decree in force. Not even on Rito, where they've established an outsider settlement. <laughs> I like how you think. I've got a feeling we're going to get along very well. Now, let's head over to the Outlander Affairs Agency. Most of the current rules were put in place by the administration of Rito, the Kanjo Commission. The Kanjo Commission? Yes, one branch of the Tri Commission of Inazuma, responsible for growing and managing the nation's wealth. Um, you really haven't heard of it before?
<sighs> You've completed the entry procedures, yes? And now you want to apply for residency? Both? Yes, please. Okay, the processing fee will be two million mora. Two million? For a processing fee? Are you serious? That's right. One million per applicant, which makes two million total. Don't worry. You can trust my math. Paimon wasn't so much questioning your math as... Uh... <laughs> Ma'am, these two here are good friends of mine. I think you'll find I'm one face you re Ah, Mr. Toma, it's you. By way of courtesy, allow me to reduce it to... 400,000 more a total. <laughs> Thank you ever so much, Miss Eureka. But as this is just a processing fee, I think 600 mora should cover it if I'm paying on their behalf. I'll treat you to dinner too. How does that sound? That's not how you haggle! By all means, bargain the price to- Alright then, as you wish, Mr. Toma. I will make a record. <laughs> Much obliged. It's not as mind-boggling as you think. A processing fee is just a figure of speech. The way some here at the agency see it, the fees are easy money. So it becomes a question of how much they can make. So when the day comes that some poor merchant from overseas with more money than cents gets stuck here and needs to apply for residency... Then they'll milk them for all their worth! <laughs> exactly. It's at times like this that having a local friend really comes in handy. Yes, but when you're an outlander in Inazuma, far from home in this close nation era, there's very little that can be done about it. The most that overseas merchants can do to look after themselves is stick together. That's how the International Trade Association came about. So it's a trade association built by and for outlanders? Yep. And as well as advancing commercial interests, the association provides help, support, and structure for outlanders trying to survive on Rito. Essentially, it's an association devoted to both commercial excellence and survival skills. <sighs> Sounds like just staying alive is an achievement when you're an outlander in Inazuma. I see. So this is the real purpose of your trip. Yes, given that you are outlanders, it's certainly a lofty aspiration. After all, the Raiden Shogun is the most exalted and revered one in all of Inazuma. She is a deity who reigns on high, while all other life gazes up in awe. Huh. I was going to say nothing is set in stone when it comes to who you will encounter in this world. Who's to say you won't happen to run into the Raiden Shogun one day after lunch? Uh-huh. And is that likely? Okay, I'll give it to you straight. I know of a way to introduce you to the Raiden Shogun. Really? Wow! The Rito Fixer is better connected than we thought! <laughs> I mean, it will take all the resources I have at my disposal, but it can be done. However, before we get there, connections come at a high price, you understand? Ugh, not you too! <laughs> no, no. In this instance, when I say price, I'm not talking about Mora. In fact, there's no real cost as such. It's just that if this is something you really want, you'll have to agree to help other people solve some of their problems first. I like to do things in a way that keeps everybody happy. It's my own personal rule for dealing with situations like this. Sounds very reasonable to Paimon. You're the man in the middle, so you have to trade favors to keep everyone indebted to you. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling you're making me out to be some sort of crook? 
Uh, never mind. Here's the situation. As I touched upon earlier, the members of the International Trade Association are constantly struggling to survive. Recently, things seem to have gotten more difficult than ever for them, so just go and check things out.